Hi, this is Nikki, and today we're going to talk about custom camera inserts. In front of me, I have my Tom Bin briefcase that I use for work on a daily basis to carry my laptop, my pads, and, and other things that I use on a daily basis. But today, I've converted it into a camera bag. So it's got a slim profile, and ordinarily the bag itself doesn't have any padding to it. When I use it for work, I use a Tom Bin cache, which I stick my laptop in, and it has these rails that are used with this Tom Bin system, um, so it's great. But that's not what I'm here to talk about today. I'm talking about a camera insert that fits in here that makes this bag a versatile camera bag. So let's take a look inside. Inside is this custom insert that I had made by a company called Main Street Camera on Etsy. Great service. They made the bag to my dimensions and it came within two weeks and I think it's awesome. But this is not the bag I made it for, but I'll show you that bag in a little bit. But right now let's just focus on what I can fit in this briefcase. So inside I have my Tough TG3, this is my Olympus waterproof camera point and shoot that I like to carry when I'm out for a day. Sometimes I just like to take some snaps with it and it has this fantastic um, microscope feature. If you do macro photography, it's awesome for that. So I carry that around. I carry my, uh, in the center compartment, I have my uh, Olympus OMD EM10 with a 25 millimeter lens on it. I have my 60 millimeter Olympus macro lens fabulous lens. If you don't have it and you like macro, you should think of getting it. It's awesome. I have my um, my 12, no this is not 12, this is the 14 to 42 zoom lens fits in there as well. So these as you can see are mostly compact lenses because when I'm going out for just an afternoon of shooting I think this is sufficient um, and usually I'm doing some street shooting so I don't really need anything really long. Uh, but I like to carry a macro around if I, if I can because it's also just a great general purpose lens as well. So that's what fits in the main compartment. As you can see there, it, that insert fits in there really nicely. Now let's look at uh, what I carry on the, in the outside. Sometimes when I'm out for a day of shooting, I might stop at a cafe and you know have something to eat or drink and I want to look at my images. I carry my iPad. Um, this is an iPad mini with a Logitech uh, keyboard attachment, so that fits great in the outside pocket. On the front pocket, I have, there's two pockets in the front. I have my lens coat uh, media wallet attached to the Tom Bin O-ring, which I love these O-rings. They have them in all their bags. I could clip my wallet or clip, you know, one of these media wallets in there, and I know that even if they get pulled out by accident, they're not going to get lost because they'll be attached to the bag. I have my um, Think Tank Photo um, me, uh, wallet for my batteries. Love those. I have a pen, my field notes. You may have read that I carry this wherever I go. I have my, um, it's on my blog, there's a post about that. I have a lens cloth. And then in the slanted front pocket, I have tissues, my camera emergency kit, which is also on my blog and my YouTube channel. And I have hand warmers because it's freezing here on the East Coast this time of year. So I like to carry those as well. So all of that fits into this very slim briefcase. And you would never know that I was carrying a bunch of camera gear when it looks like I'm actually out for a day of work. So that's one use for this camera insert. So let's take a look at the camera insert itself and why I really purchased it. Now I want to show you why I really had the camera insert made. This is a Tom Bin um, packing cube. Its primary use is to use when you're um, you know, going traveling and you're packing and you use these cubes to organize all of your stuff within your luggage. You can stick your socks in here or shirts in here, whatever it is that will fit. So that's the primary use for this. But Tom didn't thought ahead and actually added these tabs on either side that allow you to attach a camera strap, I mean a shoulder strap. And I have a few Tom Bin bags that come with shoulder straps, so I was all set and ready to use this as a different type of bag. Primarily when I've used this in the field, I didn't have a camera insert in it. Um, it was great for carrying around all of my necessities if I needed to, and it's, it's extremely light. It's made out of this Dyneema fabric, but it's extremely durable as well. So it's, it's great to take around with you. Um, 
and I've used it on many trips as just a an extra uh, purse to carry around things that I wanted to and I just use it crossbody and it's great to have but one day when I was out you know doing some camera shooting I actually realized that if I added some padding to this bag it would be a great extra camera bag so I contacted uh, Main Street Camera on Etsy and they made this camera insert for me so they sell some pre-made that to certain sizes but they didn't have one that fit this bag so I gave them the dimensions and they made one for me and here you see it inside the bag I showed you earlier how it fit into my Tombin um, briefcase as well, but it was actually made to the dimensions of this bag. Now, I had the option of getting a top made to it, but I didn't want to have that so that, you know, I didn't want something else getting in the way when I unzipper the bag, I can get the equipment out right away. So let me show you what I'm carrying. Now, there's no need to carry all of this stuff. You can carry whatever you want, um, but I always like to have my iPad with me. So that's something that fits nicely on the side and I have the uh, also a Logitech case in it which has a keyboard so it's great for when I'm out and I'm taking some shots and if I stop at a cafe I can just um, put my images on uh, using the Olympus share app and I have my stuff that I can share on social media immediately um, so here is my Olympus OMD EM10 the EM1 fits in here as well I have a 25 millimeter lens on it I'm also carrying well I was carrying but I forgot to put it back in there um, but I can carry my uh, 14 to 42 right in here too. So I'll show you again um, easily. I have three um, dividers and I can move them around if I'd like. But the camera, another, an optional lens, a uh, extra camera batteries, and I have my lens coat wallet attached to uh, an O-ring. And so if this were to fly out by accident, it's attached, so it's not going to go very far. Um, so that's what's great about Tom Bin bags. All of their bags have these O-rings attached, so you can use a key strap to attach your items to, and it's awesome. Um, so that's what's inside the main compartment. Um, again, makes it very well padded, and that equipment's not going to get damaged in this bag. So that's, that's great. It's got a lot of extra um, padding to it. So on the front side, there's a zipper pocket as well. And inside I have a pack of tissues, my field notes, which I have a blog post about why I carry this around with me everywhere. I have a um, set of keys attached to a, the O-ring and a key strap, a uh, lens cloth, and I'm missing my pen. I had my pen in here somewhere. Oh, here it is. I have my pen. So all of that stuff fits in this very light, durable bag. So if you're out for... Uh, a day of shooting and you want to carry something very very light uh, you can do this and also it's invaluable when you're traveling if you're you can use it with this insert or not um, if you were using it as a packing cube you could stuff socks or your other personal items in here shove it into your um, luggage and you're set and you're good to go you can also use it without the insert just again using it as a packing cube and then when you go on your trip if you need an extra bag to carry when you're um, going shopping or doing anything you could throw a shoulder strap on it and it's good to go so that's the um, Tom Bin um, packing cube and I wanted to show you a couple more things about using camera inserts we'll put this aside um, here is a camera insert that I took out of an old camera bag that I'm no longer using I had a Kata bag and it came with this um, organizer and it was removable which was great because I use it to organize my camera lenses so I just have this on my shelf where I have the rest of my gear and I put my lenses in there and they're nice and secure when I'm ready to go out shooting I just look at take out what I need when I come home I put back the lens where it came from so I can fit a lot of things in there I have my TG3 in here um, and I have some other lenses but it's again you can change the the, the uh, dividers out and organize it however you like but then when I go to my shelf I have everything nicely organized another use or a different type of insert is this insert from crumpler and uh, this has a little organizer on the back side uh, some webbed pockets that you can put stuff in and then it has um, it comes with a couple of dividers and it's just divided like that but you can move the dividers any way you want and you can carry your uh, this is a 75 to 300 Olympus lens I can put my um, 60 millimeter macro lens in here and I can put a uh, I have my 75 millimeter and I can fit that and they fit very nicely inside this bag cinch it up and I'm good to go 
So those are some uses for camera inserts. I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, thanks for watching, and I hope you found this video useful to show you how you can use camera inserts you already have, camera inserts that you can buy off the shelf, and inserts that you can have custom made that can make any bag a camera bag. Thanks again for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my blog at www.victoriadiaz.net.